there and welcome back to some more Forza Mode Sport 4. Today we're continuing on. Let's play. This is episode 175. In today's episode, we are taking a look at the Class B a World Championships. For that, we need a Class B car, and uh, we are going to be using the 2006 uh, Maserati Grand Sport. I do love the Maserati Grand Sport. I think it's quite a good looking car, although a lot of people would disagree with me and say, oh, this is when Maserati was bad. Yeah, kind of, but at least it's cheap. Alright. Uh, I think we should have full... No, we do not have full Maserati affinity. In that case, we won't upgrade the car until we have. Or I'll forget to upgrade the car. I don't know. One of those two. Uh, class B World Championship. The Ultimate 12 Car Championship for the fastest B-Class cars in the world. Of course, if you've never seen this before, uh, we've already done races 1 through 4. So now we are up to races 5 through 8. Nürburgring Full Circuit is our first destination. There you go. Cool, cool. AJ717. Yeah, that worked. Was that another oh, plane? Was I getting Fazzini? Fazzani? Faz How do you say it then? Uh, yes, all the DLC apart from the BMW art cars and the Forza Horizon 1 pre order bonus. And in case well, you're wondering what not? both those two things are, the BMW art cars are literally just BMWs with art on them. And the Horizon 1 pre-order is the 2012 Challenger SRT8. Why don't you have the Magnificent Challenger? The because one? I didn't pre-order Forza Horizon 1. <laughs> Loser. I know, I only got into Forza in like 2013, so... Is this car Cambio Corsa? This is a Cambio Corsa car. Let's see how long it takes to change gears. Yep, that's long for an automatic car. Um... You have those? No. Uh, also, hello, Lex. It's with an A. Hello, Lex. Fazani. Fazani Mobadili. I don't know. You just came back onto the track like an idiot. Says Lance Stroll as he cries softly. That was so funny when that happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was even better because he like immediately fucking took like uh, a he did the, the exact Alpha Tauri same. out or something, didn't he? Yeah, he took out Gasly, I think, basically. Yeah, he you know what's great? He didn't get penalised because he didn't make contact. Yeah, I think Vettel didn't make contact, did he? Yeah, he no. did scroll, I think, clip it. Or is one way or the other, but no, one I, person I, got punished more than the other because they no, made contact, even though no, they did I, the same. Wait, no, I don't. Th no, actually, no. Um, Vettel didn't make contact, but he caused. But since I think he that's caused it, that's contact, didn't he? Or no, no, he didn't. Because you get it for technically forcing a car off the field, don't you? Yeah. But yeah. even though yeah, like yeah. Lance literally did yeah, the that, same thing. Yeah, but that's why. Yeah, because Lance actually went out. That's why he got penalized. I think that's because <laughs> Lauren Stroll was too busy trying to buy the FIA at that point. Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell my son. Don't hurt Wouldn't it be my great son? if fucking uh, Daddy Mazepin just turns around and buys the FIA? <laughs> That's how they get around that. You, you want Kalashnikov? Yes. I Fun fact: Kalashnikov says uh, that the biggest regret of his life was making the AK. Really? Yeah. Oh, really? Even though he didn't actually make it. I mean, yeah, he he, he copied the fucking Germans. Well, that and also this is Soviet Russia, where essentially what they would do instead of acknowledging group collectives, it would only be a single person. Kalashnikov had some things to do with it, as in he was I mean, part of the design team, but they literally just picked a name out of the hat, picked the one guy who was like in World War Two, and was like, "Yeah, okay, yeah, you're I getting mean, I mean, I mean, it named yeah, after." Yeah, I mean, I mean, he was the the head of the design team, I guess. That's why. No, I don't think he was even head of the design team. It was just a random. One of the random designers they picked out of a hat. It was very interesting and all, but I'm kind of distracted by that clock or whatever that is in the center of the car. Oh, yeah, because Maseratis can't have circular clocks. Oh, oh yeah. Even oh, yeah, though everything else yeah. in the car is circles. Yeah, yeah, but not that. Do you know what I can't That's get over? Loud. What? The fact that the dashboard sort of dips so it looks like the air vents are two angry eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it's an owl. <laughs> it's an owl. The Maserati Grand Owl. Yeah, I will say Forza's got a bit of a habit of this, but looking around this interior, 
you can get the idea of how cheap and nasty this interior probably is. IRL, can't you? Mm. Like, you look at that steering wheel and you just think that's going to be really sticky if you try and touch it these days. Oh, yeah. Don't get me wrong, I think it was mostly leather. I quite like these cars, but I, I wouldn't... <laughs> Italian interiors in the 90s. Eh. <laughs> Great race, rain. You are P1 because he won. Haha. <laughs> um, it's within it. I swear... Mazepin was a cake, not a... He's not a serial sexual abuser, as far as we know. He just decided to touch tit. <laughs> yeah, and sadly for him, he decided to do that on video. Yeah. That, that's... I mean... Don't... Uh, if you want to find out what the stream title is about, question the Moving Chicane's Gran Turismo 6 LP. I don't know what part it'll be, but it's halfway through the International A license. Where we did a dramatic reading of fan fiction. And also went through the fucking um, song titles of Cock and Ball Torture. What? Which is a band, in case you didn't know. Oh. What? Yeah, Cock and Ball Torture is actually a band. Cool. Their best known song is Agoraphobia. I didn't want to know Which that. sounds a lot... It's got a meaty riff and then it's got a guy going... Because <laughs> it's death metal. Not oh. like the sort of, uh eh, Slipknot and Metallica are death metal, I mean like actual like death metal where it's just people growling. Wait, Metallica is death metal? <laughs> if you ask some people. I mean, I can get Slipknot. I got fucking I berated by a woman at work for listening to like Lou Reed at one point, so... It's an evil Why song, would... I know it's an evil song. <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah, a fucking. You, I, I resisted all urge to just turn around to her and just go. You do realize there is a 15 minute song in this playlist that is about literally having sex with dead people. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> you should have done that. No, no, you should have have because then she would have went to the manager and I want this guy fired and then we I'd love to see him arguing with his manager. Oh, I do. Oh, I bet. Can you imagine getting fired for that, I mean? It's pretty hard to get fired from my place, not gonna lie. <laughs> Literally, the only way I've seen someone fired was the one guy who was fiddling expenses once. Oh, I'm glad you said expenses. No, no, the pe someone who fiddled a girl, he got let off. <laughs> what? Yeah, well, he got them off. I can't speak about that, though. Anyways, never grin, Grand Prix circuit! Isn't this a boring a track? track. Uh -huh. I mean, it's I okay. Like it. I like it, but not in Forza. <laughs> I don't like any tracks in Forza, to be honest. I like, I like playing it like on race room in a DTM car. It's fun. Uh, beyond that, I don't like it. Yeah, I don't know. It's Some of the tracks in Forza good are good. Bernie Sams is fun. Yeah, but I hate that corner at the bottom of the hill. Where you're See, like, you know, like, you're going in at 150 million miles an hour. Yeah. And the entire braking zone is curved. Yeah. See, I think sim racing game The tracks that I find boring in Forza are the ones that are usually in sim games, and it's not too bad in sim games, because at least you have more car to fight. So it becomes a bit more fun. Yeah. yeah like, I don't like fucking... I don't fight. I, I, I don't like uh, Mugello, but it's okay yes, so in like it. sim. And by sim, I mean, I don't know, driving an F1 car around it. Because <laughs> that's literally the only thing I play a set of calls for, is to just drive F1 cars. Because so. it's fun. More specifically, cars from like 97 to 2005. And then the the modern F1 cars suck ass to drive, and the ones older than that are too complicated. The Ferrari 2004 basically is what I'm implying, <laughs> and that one mod for the Walrus Williams because that thing's cool. Best thing about this track was the F1 meme video. Fuck yeah! 
story of my life. Yeah. Never quite caught on. I, I, I wonder if we're going to some mint trucks next year. Maybe. That fuck, I sold Boost uh, last time out. If you ask me personally, that fucking uh, Saudi Arabian street race has got disaster written all over it and I can't wait. Yeah, Because someone it's tells Saudi me that's going to be like the ultimate fucking attrition race. I mean, it's already Saudi Arabia. Speaking Arabia. of which, did you hear the news? No. News. It's very highly likely the Australian GP is getting cancelled already. Oh, yeah. Why? Coronavirus. Oh. They Again? apparently th no. The Australian government's basically telling them that unlike when they were in Saudi Arabia, they can't just do a bubble. They have to like, because in Saudi Arabia, literally all they did was like, basically tell the drivers you could go to the track, you can go to the hotel, you are not allowed out of the hotel unless you are going to track, and like. Can, wait, it, why can't they do that? Because the Australians track, yeah. have said logistically it's impossible or something. And they're I mean, not budging, so it looks like Bahrain's going to be the season opener. You fucking Again. you. Fucking, Which isn't you bad because I don't mind the happen. Bahrain track. I mean, you fucking house them on the on the GP track side. Oh, are we back in lockdown? I don't know. I don't care. Oh can yeah, get, yeah, like, it's, yeah. Can they like limit the number of people? And I wish I could get my car cleaned up, and I don't the care. Truck, the truck and then get the fuck out. So Does that yeah. affect McDonald's closing times? <laughs> what? <laughs> Um, I, I can't see why it would, Literally the it... only thing I care about is whether it affects the restaurant time, because it's the only part of lockdown that actually affects me. I mean, I and guess... And I'm not I actually guess... even joking. <laughs> I guess it shouldn't affect delivery. Oh yeah, fucking spike will let a race. No, I'm not talking about drive through fuck that. You don't want to get a fucking McDonald's delivered, it'll just be cold. I mean, it'll yeah. be cold anyway, but... Wait, are the people in England that do that shit, that job so bad, that it's always cold? Mm. No, it's just, you move food and it cools down. No, I mean like McDonald's, they never like, everything's cold from there by default usually. As long as it shuts, I mean, like, as long as it doesn't shut before 10 o'clock, we're okay. I mean, to be honest... If it I shuts before 10 o'clock, then I'll just have to get out of yeah. work earlier. <laughs> I, I got one today and the fucking problem was that um, the, I don't know if it's the guy off the fucking Isn't it 2006 when fucking Winkle Hawk the, was coming around here? Yes. Okay, 2007. Yeah. Oh, seven. Seven I, or eight. I, I don't know who, if it's the fucking David guy or the... I thought it was 2006 because Jordan was sold in 06 and Spiker was, yeah, only lasted like, Midland. One, like half a year. Mi you're forgetting oh, Midland, Midland lasted a full year? Yes, I believe oh. so. It was about that. Going on anyway. Um, Luda. Yeah, I mean, I say, I don't know who the fuck fucked up my McDonald's order today, but my drink was felt in the bag. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> like, I don't know if it's the delivery guy that didn't handle well or the fucking. Or the fucking McDonald's that didn't package it well, and that's annoying. That was annoying. Get the bag, fill it. Oops, something, something. No, the McDonald's right. guys don't pack it. Do oh, I actually know they would pack it, wouldn't they? Yeah. I mean, the, the thing is, I don't know how they fucking deal with that shit now at McDonald's because the um, the thing they give is like mostly closed, but. Um, I mean, all I know is I need to slide into the DMs of some people serving McDonald's. What the fuck is that? My type of girls. Alternative and no self-esteem. <laughs> Anyways, high, higher percentage of laps led than Hamilton, fuck yeah. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? If you actually look into, um... I think statistically Schumacher still has a higher percentage of overall wins than Hamilton does. Uh, it, it does if you don't include a second career in Mercedes. I think. Yeah, but that, that, that never counted. Trashy golf girls at McDonald's are the best, fuck yeah. <laughs> well, this I don't know. Never, never <laughs> I don't, he never did a second career, okay? Okay. Well, Who's apparently, I was watching that video Mercedes uploaded about the W01, and they were like, 
Michael was like one of the greatest people to work with. He just like fucking came in, wanted to know all about the car. He was excited. Oh, I've heard that. Yeah, Michael was insane. That's the, I've heard that Ross. And also, do you know why like he was? Do you know why he got bought in? Why? Ross Braun. Well, yeah, that makes <laughs> sense. Which makes you wonder why did mind you Ross Braun didn't have enough money to pay him the year previous. So instead, we got Rubens Barrichello, who got um, second no, place in Australia no. despite Schumacher. being literally useless. Um, uh, Schumacher was going to race for Ferrari in 2009. Well, he was hoping um, for a return. That was the whole reason he returned to Mercedes why, why in general. Why didn't he fucking race for Ferrari? Uh, he was too out of shape, basically. He couldn't deal with the downforce and the cornering forces. Yeah, I think he was supposed to return in 09 and then he went to Mercedes and the whole reason he went to Mercedes is because he wanted to drive later on uh, with Ferrari, but they obviously didn't. Yeah. Because they, they, they had they, a loud soul. They, 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 they've been Ferrari. <laughs> they have the greatest oh. dream team of all time, Alonso and Massa. <laughs> yeah. I am faster yeah. than Massa, I can drive 50 seconds faster! <laughs> Alonso is faster than you. Did you did you understand the message? I was gonna say, didn't Massa get closer to a title than Alonso? That yeah, he did actually. We discussed this last time, man. Haha. <laughs> well, no, Alonso got two titles. I feel like that's no, no. As in, he got get. closer to a title with Ferrari than fucking Alonso did. He was only one point off. Alonso was like fucking twelve. Yeah. And he got stuck behind a Renault. Massa never got stuck behind a Renault. He won his race. It's just Glock fell off. Hold the on road. a second, though. Well, hold on, though, because the maximum amount of points you could get in Alonso's areas was 25 versus... They were in uh, the same era. No, it was different points. No, no, system. but I mean, like, Alonso won his titles in the same era, so why can Massa not potentially win his title in the same era? What? I'm just saying. Ma Ma Massa no. was because Massa wasn't in the, in the dominating Renault. No, he was in. The, the, the Renault wasn't really dominating. The only reason the Renault dominated is because the McLaren was hot dog shit for reliability. If yeah, McLaren yeah. could have produced a working car, it probably would have been Raikkonen in 05. Yeah, I mean, Kimi got. got and Kimi's more that. tolerable than Alonso, so. Yeah, Alonso, Alonso isn't that bad. I mean, I'm not denying that he's. Been no, he's a good driver, but. Like, he's a bit of. I, oh, I, I've heard very I, mixed things about Alonso. Okay, I agree he's a fucking bit of a one He's a cunt. He's, <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a cunt, but he's got the charm to go with it, so... No, no, I, I mean, he's not a cunt, he's Spanish. That's, that's... that's yeah, actually, yeah, everyone is Spanish. <laughs> actually, no, Carlos Sainz is the... Yeah. Then again, I guess all the cunt went to his father, so... Is it, really? His dad seems quite nice. Yeah, he probably is quite nice now that he's, like, 60 years old. And have won a championship and whatever. Yeah, back in I the day, it. him and McRae used to fucking go at each other like no one's business. Okay. You would, though, if McRae was there. Well, McRae, like, fucking... It was that, like, time where in a rally he got told to, like, slow down for signs and McRae was like, The fuck are you doing, dickhead? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then in the end it got to, like, the final state... No, hold on. Actually, that's what it was. He he did it reluctantly, and then like in the Ford era, Signs got told to slow down for McRae, and Signs yeah. literally left it till the last stage, and then just stopped the car on the middle of the road to have a fake breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> like he got out of the car, looked under the bonnet, timed it for about thirty seconds, got in the back of the car, and just drove back off. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Because <laughs> Sides was like, wait and see if McRae fucking over exuberance would lead him to crash or some shit before he slowed down. Which is fair enough, actually, considering that. So, was, yeah. I think that was the year McRae lost the title by 200 meters. <laughs> what? Wait, so he's got a better, better yeah. record than Carlos losing one by 500. Yeah, literally, Sides. <laughs> right. <laughs> In the UK rally, all McRae had to do was finish. And then he got to the last stage and took a corner about 15 miles an hour too quickly, stuck the wheel in a pothole and just rolled. <laughs> nice. <laughs> when in date, flat out. Yeah. 
I thought we were sat there, bear in mind he'd like gone into a rut 15 miles an hour over. The car had rolled over and McRae was just sat there comfortably in the interview just going, the amount of times we'd rolled over, I, I knew the car wasn't recoverable then. <laughs> <laughs> like he'd actually gotten to the point where McRae could hear the damage and just go off that whether the car would be drivable again or not. <laughs> oh. It reminds you you gotta remember that the, the reason McRae got to be a legend in the first place was because when he went to Finland he rolled his Subaru on three separate occasions and kept going and the finish was like, hey! <laughs> what a bus, what a that was literally his first outing for Pro Drive, I think. <laughs> and they were about to drop him and then he did really well for like another part of the season and they were like, hey, we'll keep this kid. And then they were like, hey, he's not that bad in the end. Yeah, <laughs> and then like they, I think they ended up dropping him. No. He's the Grosjean of rallying. Yeah, no, I think no. it was basically like, supposed to be him or Richard Burns, and Richard Burns ended up going to Mitsubishi for a bit. It actually, he's, he's, he's better than Grosjean, sorry. <laughs> Apart from Valencia 2012, his Mercedes career was wank. Yeah, I mean, Valencia 2012 And was... the pole position. Valencia 2012 has that effect where, it, like, that race was so chaotic that everyone forgets how bad Valencia was as a track. Wait, what, <laughs> Val oh yeah, Valencia, you know I forgot about the track. Schumacher not driving Ferrari after Massa's out, that and gave us Luca Badoa in a Ferrari. And there he is, Luca Badoa, he's doing a hackening. Uh, I guess it's I, just I feel sorry for Badoa. Why? What, did he, did he, ever he cried he after retiring from six in a fucking Minardi. Yeah, because he never. Yeah, but it's a Minardi. Point. It's a point. Who cares? No, but point virtually the only thing. reason you drive for Minardi is because you want to go to a better team. Yeah, I mean that, that's what Alonso did. It's what everyone who drove for Minardi did, other than the rain. Actually, no. Wait, did the rain drive him? No, he didn't. He was Jordan, wasn't he? Yes, well done. Him and uh, who was that other fucker? The guy who got told not to celebrate and like parted all night in America because he got third. Oh yeah, the uh, the guy we couldn't remember the name of the Portuguese. Uh, is it not Montenegro or is it? Yes, I think it is. Why can't we remember that the other day when we were doing the I quiz? Don't know. Here, aside from fourth in a Minardi. Okay, fourth's a bit more understandable, but like six is almost just... a podium. I always want to pretend Schumacher's Mercedes career existed. I forget it exists. Yeah, it's a then again, let's be honest. When it comes to Schumacher, you're best off just forgetting every year after 2004 doesn't exist. I don't know. 2006 was good. Yeah, though in 05 the Ferrari was hot garbage, though. So. It's still well, it's the when that one. It wasn't the tyres though, was it? Yeah, it was. No, apparently they, it was actually no, they made, a oh, bunch of well, other might, issues. It might not have been a great car, but that's the thing, they had to change the tyres. Because the rule change happened in November. It was the tyres and it was also something to do with the diffuser changing, I think. That, like, yeah, really okay. fucked them. Because, mm. like... The, the, like even when they tried to run the 2004, they had to do like alterations to it to aerodynamically fuck it, basically. Yeah. Because F1 can't allow cars to have downforce for some reason. Gotta change it. And don't get me wrong. In some cases, it's good, like X wings or the silly fucking rear wings I that like cars used to have. I like do you like the fins? Yeah. No, oh, the fin was awful. Oh yeah. No, I like the. What well, you're talking about, like the shark fins. Yeah, when they had the fins that went all the right way down to the bottom, and then also added spoilers to the fins to make them look even more fucking wanky. It's so cool. No, it isn't. I don't care. Truth be told, I don't care how the cows look. I do. Like, <laughs> I I don't get it. The there's no points for the prettiest car, just make them first. What is the prettiest car? Probably the Renault, I guess. People say the Jordan 191 or whatever. The one oh, do you mean like drove. overall? Nah, the prettiest car is the fucking Little Spirit team. That was the best. The car that had like the three rear wings. 
<laughs> Which one? I think it was called the Little Spirit Car. It was like some weird privateer Honda effort in the late seventies. Uh, Spirit Racing. I think it was, it was like Little Spirit or something. Just like a bunch of random Japanese guys that bolted something together in a shed. <laughs> See, the Jordan World 9 one isn't even that good looking because it's got that rear wing um, tier. I don't get it. Yeah, I don't get it. Like, the hype around it? Best looking at. That is a good question, though. Um, it's whichever one's the first. So you got a disassociate livery from the car, which is really. Like, fucking. Nah, because nah, that's still part of the car design, I'd say. I'd say with F1 cars, it's different. Because the livery is still part of the Alright, here's a hot take for you. What? The Earth Dreams Honda actually looks quite good. Yes. Yeah. Does. The 07 one. Burned me with how hot that is. No. Because yeah. <sighs> everyone hates it, don't they? And I don't get it, because it looks fine. Yeah, that's it. It's just a mess, because it doesn't really work at speed, because you, you can't really Who tell. Who cares if it works at speed? Earth. When it's standing still, it looks good. I hate this title. I thought you was better than this. Elsie was there for the fucking Sonic Dramatic reading. I mean, um, wish I was there. And is that kind of thing? Subscribe to the well. Don't. What do you do on Twitch? Fortnite funnies. Heart the moving chicane on Twitch. <laughs> Unless he gets banned for yesterday because we said simp a few times. The Earth Dream Honda. No, the Earth Dream Honda's fine, and in fact, even the fucking ING Renault looks fine as well. Yes, it does. Just collateral hot takes. You really are. These are like some of the worst things. It's a bit like saying Robert Kubica is no good in the middle of Poland. You'll get like executed. <laughs> I want you to do that, mate. <laughs> Bro, I could get a podium in DTM. Do it. I mean, you his won't. team in DTM was like the worst performing. So they got like. 35 points overall, and the leading team got like 500 or something. Which one? The, 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 the BML? They were up? BMW Art All All, I think it was. We need a quicker gearbox because this thing has a trashy gearbox. It also weighs quite a lot. I wasn't expecting it to weigh as much as it does. You weren't expecting the big fat Italian luxury car it's to not weigh that a lot. Fat. Yes, it is. It's quite sleek. It's, it's a big not. fat. He, he said he said, he said it, it's a big fat Italian luxury car. What did you expect? Uh, okay, now to get out of that fucking place. Fucking hell. There we go. B five hundred. That'll do. Giga kibitz. It's chunky. I'm trying to think of like any F one car that stands out in my mind. It's whatever the fastest one is, is the prettiest. The, it's just how it goes. The Mercedes is not a pretty car. Yes, it is. It's got a horrible it, nose it, it on isn't. it. It isn't. The Ferrari is ugly. Um, what's not ugly this year? The Ferrari is hideous. Uh, the McLaren's like the okay Hass. looking. The Honda, the, the Renault is quite good looking. I have a Haas, yeah. but I'm biased because of the colours. The, 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 the pink Ferrari, the pink Mercedes isn't bad looking too. No, it looks like a Mercedes with a pink livery. I ain't getting fooled by that shit. The Alphas. I mean, if we're talking livery, the Alphas the best looking. Because it's red. <laughs> and it's white. No modern F1 car looks good. That's a hot take. I mean, probably Ooh, not that hot. Put user in time, mate. Because they are too long and too high up. Yeah, bro. They should be like Mario Karts. They should be like Mario Karts. Uh. <laughs> oh god, even the rear end of this car looks like a smiley face. Yeah. It's just full of faces. It's like a Van Gogh painting. I'm amazed you know what? who that is. Yeah, because we had a picture of his in our bathroom at one point. 
What? Uh, Van Gogh painter. No, oh, yeah, the, the twenty. Game. None of the twenty fourteen cars look good. I am yeah, not going you, for that hot take. You mean the guy that catches on airs, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy who put an oval set up on himself. Lewis Hamilton would be a great addition to 150cc. I mean, they added Mercedes's into Mario Kart at one point, so. God, yeah, yeah no, I. Why I not just them. add Lewis Hamilton and Valtteri Bottas as drivers as well? Because they would care about Bottas. <laughs> Actually, Valtteri Bottas is the Luigi of the Mercedes F1 <laughs> team. It's yeah. a me, but really. What, well, like. George Russell is Toad because he's the one that gets all the fan art. <laughs> Even though no kid's supposed to like Toad. Yeah. Wait, where does Toad get fan art? Oh, God. Rule 34 you Toad, to you'll see it. No thanks. Wait, why have you checked that? We was on there the other day looking at car logos because I needed to show people in the BTCC server fucking Rule 34 Voxel. Made it the two drivers that signed for it immediately regret everything. <laughs> Hold on, are you talking about that Zephira? Why are you Which not in this Zephira? server? What happened? <laughs> Which server are you talking about? He's, he's not in the correct role. Go in general, I can drag oh, you. Oh, not the role? You fucking. Yeah, do you just go in general? I mean, I guess we can unrestrict it at this point. I don't really give a fuck. Can you do that yes, on you your do. end? Can you unrestrict it all? No, because you haven't given me enough powers. Okay, let me sort that. Oh, I can't drag him over, actually. You're going to have to do that. Hold or on. Ludo, maybe. Hold on. Let me see if I can do this while driving. Oh, this can only go well. <laughs> oh, no. View channel. What is it? Connect. Really. Save changes. That should have done it. He's in. Who the fuck are you? I don't know, but you drove off track to get me in there. Oh, yeah. Catch that S2000 or whatever it is. There's like four. It's an RX7 pixels. Spirit R, oh, bro. You aren't JDM enough to acknowledge the Mazda RX7. Excuse me, my blood type is so JDM that it's type According R. to his racing career, one of the most reliable cars ever. Fucking cunt game. Hello, Omar. Yeah. What he said. It is actually. Um, I think 1960... Uh, sorry, 1985 it won a 24-hour endurance race. On its first ever attempt. Nice. Yeah. Outers aren't reliable. But they are. They are if you take care of them. It's like everything in life. Here's yeah. the thing, road trees don't like being too cold. <laughs> so Most engines don't like being too cold. No, but it's like specifically the way road trees work. Are you saying you're an engine? Uh, um I mean in a way, yes, technically, because I do produce power. How much horsepower how, when when was the last time you've been to the dyno boost? <laughs> I've never actually dynoed myself, but I'd like to now. Don't most humans produce like 8 point something China. horsepower technically? Yeah, but I'm not most humans, so I'm probably about 5. 2011 HRTF1 car, what best looking, clearly. What car are you driving? The Maserati Grand Sport. Okay, best looking F1 car. Right, I, I have one suggestion. Yes? The uh, Honda RA226 after the accident. <laughs> How dare you desecrate such a great looking car? I, I mean I mean the best the best looking car is the is Grosjean car after after the burnout. The early two thousand Saubers looks good. Sauber never looked good, I mean. Yeah the blue and the Petronas Saubers, they look good. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh the red blue one you mean? Yeah. The only time Red Bulls ever look good on a car. There's a take for you. What about literally any WRC car with Red Bull on it? They don't look good. Oh. I mean, you're wrong, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm not going to go that general. 
Sometimes it looks okay. Uh, WRC cars haven't looked good for a while though, so. Like the only good, the only feasibly good looking one now is the Fiesta. I was gonna say, like. The Aris's angles, the Hyundai is just ugly. I forgot there was Hyundai in WRC, but that's like half the <laughs> cars in it now, so. You forgot Hyundai was in WRC, but though Hyundai has literally been like one of two manufacturers actually trying. Yeah, one of three. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Ford is. Ford's ran by someone completely different. Right. Ford's ran by a dude in the Cotswolds, I think. Like, Ford What's just their stick their name on it. It's actually M Sport that sorts yeah. that shit. The same people that ran the Bentleys in GT3. Yeah. Yep. I, I think they just changed the rules so that Subaru can now join again. Which is no. Cool. Why why not? Subaru's not going to join problem. again. They, 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 why? Why not? Because they don't well, give a fuck because... anymore. Yeah, one because yeah. they don't give a fuck, and two because they're the, 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 not rally. Subaru yeah. literally got everything. Like when they left, they said, "Yeah, it's because of the financial crisis, but also because we got everything out of this that we needed." You now see Subaru as a sporty brand that can take on anything. Who Not cares? Anymore. Goodbye. They, they, I mean, they make the BRZ. You don't see them as sporty. Actually, yeah, actually, that's true. They did ride off that rally pedigree for a long time. I don't know the amount of people I got. Like fucking. When you say in when you well. still say in to people, people go off. <laughs> yeah, but they I got that when I had an Impreza, and my Impreza had like a hundred horsepower. Talking about that, I saw fucking GC, first GC, WRX break. You know the the old the old one with the squared lights. What? You no, know, I the old, don't. The, the old Impreza. Oh, the lights. Oh, right, yeah. I, I, I saw I saw the barracks the barrier Aris wagon of those today. Nice. I saw one too on Gran Turismo too. <laughs> yeah, but <I laughs> the only the place life. where they're not rusted to fuck anymore. <laughs> I mean, it, was, it wasn't rusted. It was it was going on the. I wonder Aris how many cars on Gran Turismo two still exist. <laughs> None. Like some uh, of the fucking like Suzuki key cars and stuff, because the Japanese don't give a fuck about key cars, so most of them, are, uh, I'm fine. What do you mean by exist? Like, like they still they actually them? like, there's still examples of them in the world. Oh, quite. No, oh yeah, no, not not, not like yeah. dead. They they have to not yell dead too. Like they have to still run at least. They had like a well, non-turbo Lotus of the land. There's barely any of those left. Yeah, but what? then you remember like all of the like I mean, Japanese I mean, they, like cars yeah. that are in the um, used car dealership, oh, which are just everywhere. Are you telling me yeah. Mazda three two three F coupes are everywhere? Oh My yeah, I, I, I trip over them. <laughs> the I actually That's saw a first gen one the other day, the one that has yeah. the uh, DB seven red lights on it. I saw one. I had no clue what it was until I walked around the back and saw the badge. DB7 ripped what? Yeah, DB7 yeah. ripped off the rear lights of a Mazda 323F. Look it up. I'm doing so. The first gen 323F coupe. <laughs> it blows your fucking yeah. mind. It's great. Why is uh, the team hard not using Passats anymore? Because the Passats like fucking. Dead. Eight years old. I mean, yeah. The Sat CC has been like out of production longer than like. I don't know. Most children. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't the right car, but it's got the chassis code BJ, which is really funny. <laughs> uh, 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 also, about the freaking WRX wagon I saw, it had the freaking WRX font from the 90s, you know? The mm. You know the one I mean, I mean, maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the one full of colors and shit like that, you're like, yeah, they, I know when they designed that shit. <laughs> yeah. The last time I saw a Lancia Delta was one that was broken down next to my house in 2002. I was just reading that and thinking half the people in this voice call weren't alive when you saw that. Actually, if you want to fucking... I mean, I saw Lancia Delta like two years ago, I think. Uh, have I ever seen... I don't think I've ever seen a Lancia run. 
Uh, I've seen a Delta <laughs> in my life. I've never, yeah, I don't think I've seen a Delta moving, but I have. I've no, I've, I've actually, yeah, that's a good point. I don't think I've seen. No, this is the Maserati Grand Sport, the car before the Grand Turismo. I mean, the, the day I the day I saw that fucking Delta, I also saw the fucking uh, a fucking Fiat X19 both running for some reason. Jesus, I've seen an X19 before, I think. I, I saw two because th there was some guy near my that lived near my parents that actually had one parked in his fucking in his fucking backyard front yard, you know, casually. I'm trying to think of anything interesting I've seen recently. I looked out my window at one point recently and saw like an old El Camino or some shit. I looked out my window recently and saw some grass. Oh, I mean, an, an old Volvo driven by pensioners who owned it probably from new. That was fun. What am I looking for? I've already forgotten. The Mazda 323 F Coupe. Just search 1992, daylight. I think it was, and you'll see it. You're, you're, you're looking for the taillights to... S oh, I'm a dumbass. Yeah. I killed myself in GTA because I didn't see the fucking po power pole. I mean, you know. Nice. You know Golf yeah. 4 sells for around 5,000 5, euros where I live. The Golf 4 is a bargain for a reason, I'm afraid. <laughs> because the 4 Golf is most, not a great most, car. Yeah, I mean, it is, it was, but most No, it isn't. It never was. No. Oh, uh, did you see that Top Gear Generation game? Yeah, where it gets like, out. have you not seen that fucking Jeremy Clarkson DVD where it loses a drag race to a fucking Rover 25 Diesel? <laughs> and that's the GTI model. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Don't get me wrong, that's because the Mark IV GTI Golf is the, one of the weirdest things I've ever seen. But... Didn't they actually made a good one after that? Yeah, they did, but the Golf... Right, the, the Mark IV Golf... The Mark IV Golf GTI was essentially a trim bubble, and you could have it as a 2 litre with 115 brake horsepower, I think it was. GTI. Nice. Um, a 1.9 diesel with 150 brake horsepower. GTI. Or the actual, like, 1.8 turbo 20 valve. Huh. Which is basically the Audi engine, so... Jesus. What country do you live in, if you don't mind me asking? He used to do the Euro, so I'm already scared. Um, yeah, it's no. Country a meal found sizes to move into. Uh, do you know what? That didn't the, storm... exist 30 years ago. the one thing I like about Volkswagen back in the day the is how weird they were with yeah, engines. Yeah. Well, before they just used Audi units. Well, you, do no, because Audi do was you even weird, because they, they had the fucking five-valve per cylinder, four-cylinder. They had the V5 engine, which is strange. I mean, they had the VR6 back then. But yeah, who was who's living in a country that didn't exist 40 years ago? Look, that was a joke, Luda. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, most yeah, of I Eastern know. Europe is country that doesn't like, that didn't exist yeah, 30 years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's what I meant. Like, I, like I Yugoslavia got turned into like fucking yeah, yeah, five the, different yeah, countries. The, the Balkans, the Balkans here were like. Yeah. Oh, and uh, I mean, the best part of that mm. is that the five countries they, that got turning on, you got to what to each other, and then got cut out bits. Then you know, because oh, that shit. Found. TVR cars are great. The problem with TVR is they can't start production of the fucking Griffith, which is a shame. Check or rather, they're still I... saying they're gonna do it. They just haven't done it yet. Even yeah, though it's supposed to have been hope. due for like two, three years. Well, the Welsh oh, government's got an investment in it, so yeah, we're saving TVR and like you, treasonous. Sorry, we're too busy. Trying to say Vox, oh wait. Um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. An American now French brand. Eastern Europe, most of it. South Sudan, yeah. All very South strange Sudan. places. Isn't that the name of a. Oh, oh, yeah, Sudan's yeah, 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 where fucking right. Joseph Coney's hiding. Allegedly. No, I thought that was, that was when you made a. If he's still alive. Kentucky. Okay. To South Sudan. Ha 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 ha! Ha! Laugh Ha! I will burn you. I have a picture of Adrian New, I'm gonna send it to you. 
Oh no. <laughs> what what I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna kidnap your dad's Tesla and draw Kidnap it. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a modern art painting, an art car dedicated to Adrian Newey. Later I don't on. I think it's called kidnapping when it's uh you know, never mind. No, but Teslas are alive, bro. I feel a connection with my Tesla, says Tesla owner. Uh, Zero to five. Um, uh, there's mean, someone. Hey, Emil. Emil, do you mm. think that the Tesla owner dies reincarnated into a Tesla? What? You know, do you think when they die, when the fucking autonomous system crashes them into a truck, they reincarnate in another Tesla? What, like that fucking guy who in like, where was it? Fucking Portland, who like stuck his Tesla on autopilot and jumped into the back seat and got killed by like a fucking tractor coming out into the middle of the road. Yeah. <laughs> and now they're a Tesla. Um, VW no, looks interesting. Guy, there's some guy on my dad's Tesla forum. Okay. Who, uh, oh god! <laughs> your dad's Tesla forum. What's it oh, called? Not his, but it's like, I don't know, some of the ones... Steely Dan 1970. Totally, yeah. Senile Tesla owner's club. <laughs> Senile <laughs> Tesla owner. Oh god, I can't imagine the Tesla forms are probably sat there like, Today in my Tesla, oh. I drove for oh, 60 no. miles. I've got, no, I've got some good stories <laughs> to tell you, actually, about these. Because oh, no. the people there are kind of Tesla people are weird, what? Really? Yeah, I know, right? No, right, so there's one of them on there, he's apparently a great guy or whatever, but he constantly refers to his car as Parker. Because, like, when you get it, you <laughs> Oh no! I know where this is going. <laughs> yeah. like, no, but he's just like... Fucking Thunderbirds, car, okay. fuck off. <laughs> and he just calls the car Parker, and whatever. Apparently he's a really nice guy and whatever. But yeah. Do you think he's, he's the auto park feature or what? <laughs> no, it's Maybe. fucking, it's, um, Thunderbirds, isn't it? Parker? Is it? I don't know. Yeah, the driver of the fucking Fab One was Parker. Oh! Oh, I'm yeah! Too, I'm too gamer to understand what you're talking I'll have to, about. I'll have to ask for that. Hey, I that. remember when Thunderbirds was on television. Oh, God, What's right. A television? Um, <laughs> let me... Still waiting for the Cybertruck come to Forza or Gran Turismo. He'd probably Gran Turismo because Forza fell out with Tesla. Did they? Yeah. Yeah, they had a huge fist fight. It was really cool. He should have been there. Yeah, Pussy Musk showed up and told them to stop. <laughs> yeah, like the cars were fighting actually. You know, like the cover <laughs> car for Horizon 4. Boost. Uh, yeah. Pussy Musk. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I don't know I mean, why that makes me laugh. You have to steal so many people money by lying. Do you know what the know? Tesla Owners Club is? Well, I imagine it is like, sure. it looks like We Happy Few, you know, because they take so many drugs, <laughs> it's all like really happy and everyone's like jovial about their Teslas and as soon as they stop taking them. Choked. Yeah, if someone who doesn't seem happy about it gets like a cast to the side. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like if you, how dare you say your Tesla did under 200 miles of range? Be gone, <laughs> fought. But yeah, no, there was this other guy, um, quite young, what I think. You... Mm, yeah. uh, who got a number plate for his car, a private plate. Oh, God. Uh, I've just written it down in response. Oh, oh. Uh, but... <laughs> Basically, he asked, like, oh, yeah, what does it say? And it was like, because it's LM60 gas. And he thought the 6 was leak speak for an A. So oh, he got out, yes. <laughs> so everyone on the forum starts, like, roasting about it. He's like, no, 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 the internet will understand. <laughs> the internet will get it. Whatever. An A doesn't so look that... like that. Isn't a 6 supposed to be a G? Technically. Yeah, well, yeah. it kind of looks like a lowercase. A, I guess, maybe, is what he was no, going for. He's backwards. You'd be yeah, better no, off yeah. going for a 9. That would look more like an A than... Or a 4. Yeah, or yeah. a 4. <laughs> yeah, you know, the 4, yeah. Actually, the, I don't the, think the, you like... can have LM4, because technically that's going to be 2040's license plate. Oh, sorry, 2030's, actually. Right? No, no 2040's. Oh, I don't know. Who actually cares? Well, they've already yeah, confirmed the number plate you... numbers are going to run up to uh, 99 at some point, so... Oh, yeah, wow. That's what's inaccurate. 
Because yeah. I, it actually ends with... It ends with 50 because... 51 was the first one underneath that. Recognition. Because it was a white saying, plate in 2001. Are you saying that basically if you get the 50 plate, it's sold out on the 51? <laughs> Why did they start at 50? Yeah. Um, like, because they origin. I'm trying to remember what it was. I think originally they had an issue with the O looking like a zero, but then they like realized, oh yeah, we don't allow O on normal license plates anyway, so what's the issue? Fucking <laughs> retard. Yeah, they skipped O, Q, and Z, I think. Z? Why would you fucking skip Z? Z was skipped purely because they bought the new system in because they realised they were about to run out of letters and they could just do what they used to do, which was do it backwards. And Q was reserved for kit cars at one point. It isn't anymore to my knowledge. And then O just because it looked like a zero. I mean, at least Give us at the least Mark the V Supra. Forza the gives you the Mark V Supra. It's the Z4. HA! Like, at least here they have a good reason for, like, some letters that aren't allowed. Like, you can't have iron fucking plates because iron one, O and, o and zero, obviously. Yeah, you see, Continental Europe just has those stupid license plates that I don't understand. The UK has <laughs> the only plate system I've ever seen that makes sense. I, I, I mean, no, I agree. Actually, actually, it's so actually, brilliant. Actually, it tells you actually, the age of the car on the fucking plate. It tells you where they bought it from. Like, it's yeah, incredible. It yeah, it tells you where you bought, tells you where it was registered, tells you what how old the car is, and it gives you three letters that you can play around with and make your own little fucking combination hey, with. It's brilliant. Car. What, what, what could you just want? long enough to write a hast. Yeah. I, mean, I know. I, I, anything I, else. I, I know or that Jihad. Germans, tell, Germans, <laughs> tell, Germans tell, German tell you where the car is registered, but I don't think they tell you. They the don't page. tell you how old it is, because it's just a random yeah. collection of numbers in, like, Italy, France, <laughs> Germany. Now, French. Now, German. German. Yeah. Actually, do you know the only good thing we get out of German plates? What? what? All Volkswagen press cars say "wob." <laughs> Why do I yeah, find that funny? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, yeah. 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 yeah because, wob. Because, because, I'm, I'm, because Emil. Emil. Get a Emil. Because that's that's where the car is registered. That's the thing they do. They actually have where the car is registered. But he says "wob." Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that's that's what's wrong. That's why all Wob. Volkswagen press photos are hilarious, because all the cars say Wob. I, yeah, I've just googled why is Wob funny, and nothing is, <laughs> nothing is coming up. <laughs> yeah. Do you mean it stands for like Wolfsburg funny? or something, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Wolfsburg, yes. Wolfsburg, I yes. think it's the music playing the main on the radio. Land. Wob. It's the music Wob. playing Wob. on the radio. Wob. Yeah. It just goes yeah. Wob, 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 Wob. My dad's old plate was N4Z1 or something along with Jesus. Oh no, um, the yeah, you remind me one, of those oh, Volkswagen God. Pimp My Ride adverts. No, uh, I mean, I mean, oh no. Yeah, it's good. We unpimp the auto. <laughs> so good. I, I mean, here in French, you, you can, you, <laughs> you can get a place. Have you all seen those videos? This is oh, Gareth's 1998 call it. <laughs> <laughs> On pimp it looks the like auto. Yeah. We are about to pimp Dino Auto. Oh great, I've got wait. All three in I need one. to see this. Yeah, hold on. Anyone who doesn't know what we're talking yeah. about, click on search for yeah. unpimp my auto Volkswagen adverts Volkswagen, and you'll yeah. see it. Uh -huh. But you like here yeah, I know as I was okay, going to say, yeah, while I watch. We, we we can't have <laughs> I O or S S or S <laughs> S, -S. The great yeah, yeah. car to no. drive into fucking France. I really yeah, want to no, drive that yeah. all the way to the Eiffel Tower. And just yeah, park no, that's it in front. That, that, that's, be that's because we have two. F we have two. two I think yeah. It, now it's two letters, three numbers, and two letters are in between France. So yeah, you can have SSS two letters. It's pan. <laughs> that advert just said that his shit-looking Ford Focus was worse than a Mark V GTI. Which is really cool. Would you rather drive a okay. Ford Focus or a Mark V GTI? I mean, Mark V, but... Apparently... I don't... It depends, I mean... It's a shit advert. 
<laughs> it's a brilliant advert, don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's like the fucking cake advert over here, they worship that thing. I hear the fucking cake car. You saw a few of what? my favourite things. Skoda. Skoda. Okay. My favourite one was when they redid it and had all those fucking alien eyes for the fucking VRS that all got bought by pensioners anyway. I, you know what, I'm just gonna stop even trying to think of what you're on about. You've not seen the VRS version of that? I haven't Where seen they, the like, VRS make the engine version. out of snakes and shit. You what? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> there was a metal version of it for the VRS, which all just got driven by pensioners anyway, so it was completely pointless. Yeah, but VRS stands for very... Very really... respectable ceremony. A very really car. <laughs> Here we go. I don't actually. What does VR? It's probably German. Yeah, the Skoda Fabia cake advert. The one that's always like in debate as to whether that was a better advert or the fucking Honda one. The cog. Victory Racing Sport. We all know what the best Honda advert was, though. This is my quest to follow that star. <laughs> no matter how hopeless. The new one's yeah. quite cool though. Wait, the one it's where it's like the bit of paper and they're like... Imagination. And like they end up like... Doing hand gestures for all the cars and stuff. That's pretty cool. In Tun. Tunisia? No, isn't Tunisia in Asia? No, it's 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 in Africa, not all Africa. Oh, can you tell I got a D in geography? Although I think I got yes. a D in geography because when we was doing a presentation about North Africa, I just put loads of tanks in the fucking PowerPoint. One <laughs> <I mean, I laughs> picture came problem. up for North Africa, so I put them in there. A fucking M1 Abrahams in the background of kids were like walking their camel to school and shit. I mean, yeah, there was tanks at some point. Mate, North Africa was like World War Two, one of its biggest hot zones, but no one speaks about it because I don't know. Because they were I British mean, bad. I don't know. No, British good. You fucking in kicked what? one of the best in, in North Africa. You actually kicked one of the best fucking German tank guy. Morris Marina Sprint Race, Princess Three Hour Endurance at Alton Park. Most princesses can't like. Most princesses are in barns at the moment. Oh, speaking of which, I wonder how much that car on the. Uh, I wonder how much that Impreza with a thousand miles is gonna sell for on cars and bids today. Lots. There's a 2013 Impreza hatchback with like 2,000 miles on it or something. Oh, for 2013, not much. I think it was bid up to 30 grand last time it looked. Wow, so like retail um, almost. They bid like 60 thousand dollars on a FJ Cruiser the other day with like 400 miles on it. Damn. Imagine your 2013 Subaru getting, like, is worth less than a old-ass fucking Toyota. The FJ no. is cool, don't diss fucking FJ Cruiser. It is, but like... I'd rather drive an FJ Cruiser, FJ Cruiser than a 2013 Impreza. Have you seen the interior in a 2013 Impreza? Yeah, I can is guarantee it, you it's more fantastic. comfortable than an FJ Cruiser. It's a better <laughs> car than an FJ Cruiser. No, sorry, the FJ Cruiser is a better car than the Impreza. Yeah, and the FJ Cruiser can actually go off-road. The 2013 yeah, Impreza was like that time where everyone realised, oh shit, we could just buy a Focus ST and get like exactly the same amount out of it. Like, it's quicker. It's a more practical car than an FJ Cruiser because it's a car, not an SUV. Well, not even, it's just a UV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's not... No, man, I mean, the FJ Cruiser was in Horizon 1. That's the most sporting game ever. I mean... Uh, I mean, oh wait, that FJ Cruiser. Yeah, the fucking weird one. Oh, oh, I thought oh, you okay. meant like, the original. FJ no, like Cruiser. the 2012 <laughs> FJ Cruiser. Okay, yeah, no, that's okay, way okay, cooler okay, than okay. an FJ. <laughs> I was gonna say that car's so weird looking. It's brilliant. Oh, yeah, the, the one that's also in GTA, yeah. 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 The, oh yeah, the BJ fucking yeah, the BJ. That brings yeah, the full BJ. circle back to the. the Does this car look like reaction. it's worth five thousand dollars a month to you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Imagine paying five thousand for fucking BJ. Americans, like, I think the average car loan in America is like seven hundred dollars or something ridiculous. 
I don't know well, why. That's a lot or not I, much. I, the, the FJ Cruiser is cool. I don't get why people like pay that much monthly for a car. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> yeah, it's a car. It's only a car. Oh, Worst bit is almost in America, almost all those vehicles are like fucking Toyota Highlanders. I mean, don't do, do, don't use the FJ Cruiser though, because the fucking Arabs are going to come to you drifting on two wheels. Nah, man, yeah, the fucking Arabs wheelies. have got better choice in cars than that. They're gonna do I wheelies think... on two wheels. It's gonna be really cool. I was watching a I fucking think... video the other day of a tour around the Crown Victoria where they was on about how in Saudi Arabia they needed luxury cars so they just sent police intercept the Crown Victorias over there. <laughs> the most luxurious car I can think of. And just stuck leather in them and called them luxury. It's actually a really interesting story. Like them. Ford in the early 2000s. Have, have like plastic rear seats though. Vinyl. No, I know. oh wait, no, there's like the, the actual police. The police cruisers in America have vinyl in the rear seats and stab proof front seats. Yeah, because that would be bad <laughs> if, you, if you could let you stab through the fucking car Yeah, it's just probably. a shame they weren't bulletproof seats because America, but there you go. Yeah. I mean, I mean that, that's why they, they either kill them or fucking take the gun out of them. I think back. it was only the, uh, last year LA retired <laughs> their final Crown Victoria. Yeah, literally they kill them, then put them in the police car. Yeah, I mean, no, no, when they do that, they don't bother putting them into the fucking police car. Yeah, so, yeah you're right, Chase. So Saudi Arabia just has. The Ara Arabic car market is just strange because you expect it all to be shit, but it's like just a combination of like. Weed ass Japanese and American yeah. and European cars all coming together. It's like India. India just yeah, has they, a they, weird they, car they market. Wouldn't, they wouldn't fucking put them up into the back of the car if they kill them for one good reason. They have the boots to put them in. Are you suggesting they kill nah, people in. How nah, dare you? Nah. No, nah, 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 That journalist <laughs> had his head chopped off. He, he chopped his own head off. Yeah, no, nah, actually, it's, it's even simpler. Yeah. They put him in the mock in the mock fucking truck because the car can be can can have fucking blood on it. Imagine. Actually, yeah, boost. Boost and ethanol. He's, he's muted. Fuck. He, he's muted. He went to yeah. fucking Abu Dhabi. Right. Yeah. What? Yeah. 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 Right. yeah you know you went me. there. <laughs> yeah. You're not gonna be allowed there ever again because I think your association with me is just gonna get you beheaded as soon as you land. Nah, nah. I can't nah, get beheaded because of my. Okay, because uh, I have no reason to go back there. Because the I, only reason I did was because I had family out there. But, but bro, the back. Ferrari fucking theme park again. Yeah. Well, good that news. Was... Wait, did you go You've to the? Ferrari yeah, you went to the Ferrari there. theme park. <laughs> What's good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the theme park was great to be honest. Oh. It's you get to like ride a merry-go-round with Enzo Ferrari's face in the middle of it. I didn't Enzo remember Ferrari's that. Face. Oh, they've got like a karting track on there inside that's really slippery and had a garbage on it. Um, got slippery insides. Yeah, that, that, best when. It's, it's because like the go karts are made by Ferrari. They're terrible and drive like pigs. Yeah. Did they set on fire too? Oh, no, yeah, Ferraris yeah. don't eight, catch fire anymore. Eight Italians what? burn. I was there. No Ferraris no, caught fire in F1 for years. No, not just F1. No, we're not talking about F1. Oh wait, no, never mind, Roman Grosjean. <laughs> <laughs> it, it wasn't three Ferrari, you know? No, it was all it was Ferrari's F1. fault. Yes. Because the Haas is basically a Ferrari. Carry on, though. Yeah, no, um... I don't know. But yeah, no, I, when I last went there, it was, what, years ago now? Actually, when would it have been? Years ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking IQ strats right there. Uh, right, let me see if I've got pictures of it on my phone. I think I do. Uh, would it have been 2016 I won? Maybe. I don't fucking know. <laughs> sure. I didn't take you. We were on there if you fucking Why, didn't you? Why weren't you? How responsible of you? Because I was too busy looking after Kimi Raikkonen who was in the back. <laughs> oh, right. Reasonable. My, parents were too give me, my mom was too busy giving birth to me in 20 We aren't cool enough to have family out in fucking Sauda Banabia. 
26 fucking The most unique place we've got family is Hungary. That's not unique. Exactly. Why are they starving? Yeah, get fucking old, please. No, that's not Okay. Older. Why? Stop being young. What's your reason for me getting older? Because so we can drink booze. Because you're fucking, yeah, you're fucking kid. We can drink booze in a coal with him. I could probably drink booze. My, booze. my parents would probably be fine with it. <laughs> oh, cool. Alright, go and get it. Fine. No, if your parents are fine with that, we need to step you up to the next game. Ask your parents to go get you some heroin. Bet. <laughs> That's no, a really bit of a gap. <laughs> my parents like don't like... It's a bit my okay. Fine. Don't... We'll start with weed because they'll let you drink weed. Drink weed. Drink weed. <laughs> <laughs> Will <it> find... <laughs> Drink weed. Don't... Smoke vodka. Don't you like... <laughs> been, I've been yeah. touched with drugs ever since no, I've been a line of Tom Violet to school. I Drink know. weed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's my yeah, favourite beverage next to Pepsi. <laughs> Can we get that on a shirt? Drink weed. Would that just be bong water? She's <laughs> oh, just got I a picture of like fucking. <laughs> it's just a Green picture of boost upside down and it just says like, drink weed underneath it. <laughs> <laughs> like black and white picture of IRL boost. Yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> upside like down. <laughs> Drink weed. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Drink <laughs> weed, smoke vodka, and um, and inject in and and inject some. What, what inject into Cash Six Nine. <laughs> How hot do you need to get vodka in order for it to like vaporize, though? Like? Oh, um, probably not very hot. Well, I mean, that's a slight combustion what issue. Temperature. Now, alcohol is usually sold. It's usually stored at ice vodka cold temperatures. Boil. Yeah, but because you can heat the alcohol out of stuff, I'm almost 100 percent certain. 78 degrees. Yeah, apparently. 78 degrees. Yeah. Celsius. There's a reason you have okay. to throw a Molotov cocktail. You can't just store it in your pocket. Yeah. What? It'll get hot in you. Yeah, it'll evaporate eventually. <laughs> Well, yeah, but it's and also on fire. Like, and then you just <laughs> you're not left. Then you just not you're not left with a mold stuff or a cocktail. I mean, there <laughs> you're are, just there left are, with like, an empty bottle with a rag that was previously on fire in it. Well, you wouldn't have a rag because it have burned. Um, you, you wouldn't would, have a bottle either because it would have fucking <laughs> melted. Glass See, melts no, after a while. Work. That's how they make vases and shit. Yeah, but it's like a really high temperature for glass. Yeah, glass, right. It's not that high. Yeah. Hold on. What is the melting point of glass? It's gonna be high. <laughs> it's gonna be more than 70, 78 degrees. I like how it's an autofill. Thank you, Mr. CIA. <laughs> Someone's like trying to. Well, wasn't there that building in fucking London that Why was like melting car windows? Paranoid. Oh, well, that was the walkie talkie, yeah. Yeah, the walkie scorchy. <laughs> yeah, didn't That's like the... some guy park his Jag out there and after six months he found out it like melted or something? It goes to its job for six months and then just walks out of the way. My jag's in a puddle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no. I mean, it's probably worth uh, more like this. I, I love that jag. I called it Jaggy Jan. Was it the walkie talkie? Yeah, uh, yeah well, Jaguar car parts, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, by the way, um, melted puddle glass, 1,425 degrees Celsius. That's not that hot. A little bit more than 78. It's like, that's what fucking our average summer day in England fucking feels like. Have you lived in England before? Yes, it's really hot when it's, it's like enough. fucking summer. That no, one day where it's somewhat warm is like 30 degrees. I fucking hate when it's warm. There is one I wish it was like year. this temperature all year round because it's warm in the house. <laughs> I have a radiator next to me, so when it's like really warm, it's just like tries to murder me. You know, there's a radiator in my room, but it's next to my bed, and my bed soaks up all the heat, so my room just stays icy. Oh, I can't fucking deal time. with that. I can barely sleep in this fucking temperature. It's too warm. Yeah, no, um, the. See, my the fucking. People don't like my suggestion of when it's cold, just wear another piece of clothing. That's what you're supposed to do, isn't it? Yeah, but instead they're like, "Ah, like, turn the heating up." I'm like, no, fuck that. Just I'm like, like, turn the heating on. up, yeah. But well, I wear a hoodie at all times anyway. When you when you're done being warm, you can just take off the article of clothing. When you're done being warm with heating, you have to wait like three hours. Yeah, exactly. Or just be like me and have unlimited heat resistance. 
Cars and like bits.com. Like oh, I can man. barely stand my shower at medium temperature. I'm trying to find <laughs> out how much this <laughs> Subaru's selling for. And well, I'm there, like, I put it at a halt, then I, after about 10 minutes, I get used to that, and then I just put it up to max. After about 10 minutes, my back sets on fire. Alright, how much water. do you want to guess the 1,970 mile 2013 Impreza sold for? Um... Uh, 31,475, because that's the amount of XP you got in that race. Okay. Um, hold on. No, have a guess. Don't think, oh, just 40... have a guess. Yeah, just two bucks. Forty-eight thousand dollars. <laughs> Ludo. Forty-eight thousand. Yeah. Two bucks. Two, two bucks. Yeah, no, that's forty-five thousand dollars was the. Ah, oh, I was close. Which is quite a lot. I'm gutted. They also sold that. a fucking Ford Contour for ten grand. Yeah, that's a Ford Contour. The, the Americans need to know what they're missing out on. SVT Contour. That was oh, that's the one even... with the V6. Oh. What the fuck is a Ford Contour? It's um, a Mondeo. So oh. a Contour is if you, you look at a map a with like a weird rear range. range. Currently, <laughs> in 26 <laughs> minutes, a 2011 M3 is going to be sold. Let me go okay. on the Convertible. Wait, no. Uh, 16 cars grand cars currently. Whatever it is. Mazda Speed Free like for 4 grand. Passat W8, That's... fuck yeah. Oh no. That's currently a five. I think there's a wagon of that as well. I, no, this one's a saloon and a manual, which I don't want, but you know. That sounds like it's asking to sell for trillions. W8 the, the Passat is so cool. Of three million. That's way less than I thought it would be. Who? Doug DeMiro. Ah, fucking don't believe those sites. Yeah, that being said, Doug just, just turned around the other day and was like, "This is my new Audi RS2." <laughs> I mean, it's. I mean, don't get me wrong; it may not make that much, but it does make a lot. I he, to be honest with you, Doug DeMiro seems like the sort of guy that's like, he wouldn't spend a lot on a car if he didn't have a shit ton in savings. Yeah, I mean, he has a shit ton on to be on it. <gasps> I mean, I. I can't They're selling a Mitsubishi Pajero Mini. <laughs> Oh, I, no. I, I mean, <laughs> My favourite car from GT2. At, I think he worked at, like, at Bosch or something. Also, that point. fucking Unibog I reviewed the other day is currently at $120,000. Alright, here we go, here we go. I'm trying to see go. if there's I any other car interesting car on here. Entry convertible. There's a Gold bright PDI. pink Mustang GT. Cool. Nice. Oh, I see that, yeah. No, that's more purple. It's got free spokes on it as well. No. The Mustang well, looks good with free spokes. No, it, nothing is. Nothing um, is. Nothing. Nothing is look good. <laughs> it's an Evo 1, which is kind of cool. Oh, yeah, the uh, Canada, isn't it? Uh, Canada Ohio. edition Evo 1. That's a Honda today. Uh, the cool. Pajero's red, which is not the prime color, but. You said red yes, and white. Red is a prime it. number. No, oh, fuck you. I mean, prime color, whatever. I haven't been in some <laughs> Twenty two Bs, yeah. Twenty two Bs are like strong hundred K cars. Have been for years. At all least hundred K. Uh, oh, I see the contour. Oh. Mr. Beast is gonna get one. Oh, RB2. It's, like it's got like the probe rear end on a fucking Mondeo, that's horrid. Yeah, that was the Gen 2 car. The Gen 1 looks like... One of them... I think it's the Gen... No. I think that's the pre-facelift, and then they did a post-facelift where they just made it look like a Mondeo anyway. Someone on the automation forums actually has a contour. I'll have to see if I can find the thread now. I think you mentioned this before, and by the fact you've can mentioned you it before it makes him probably be like one of those really spunky people. Like, today in my Ford Contour, I drove it to the shops. You don't have a Ford Contour. To be fair, it does look quite good. He's got some. You know, there's like people stuff. who have like one thing about them and only one thing that makes them interesting and they cling on to it like no one's business. Because yeah, that's the only thing that makes them interesting. Yeah. I could have sworn he had a carbon fiber bonnet at some point, but I don't know how he would have gone one. Do they even exist? Yeah, well, that's I don't think Mr. Why. Beast is interested in that, just telling you now. He did. 
<laughs> Booster <laughs> ethanol commit 1998 <laughs> Nissan Micra double three spokes. I don't want to Google what that looks like. Just imagine a Nissan Micra with three spokes on it, and you probably have one. Well, double read... three spoke raises some questions. Why There's is there a forward cont? There's an Alpha 4C on here, the a launch edition. I read it as a lunch edition, and I. <laughs> I found and that they're quite small. But I, I want an Alpha 4C to be honest. Yeah, you strike me as an Alpha 4C person. The, if you go up to anyone, show that like anyone who doesn't know cars, show them a picture of a 4C, they'd be like, "Oh, cool Ferrari." So like, yeah. that's just an easy way to get. Yeah, but if you like. You know. I had a person come into my house the other day and told me cool <laughs> BMW. I mean, <laughs> and then you called the police because they entered your house. Without yeah, then I, yeah, I called the police and then also said I've reported a murder. Someone said my car looked like a BMW. <laughs> you just called the police. I've killed somebody. Um, they call my car a BMW, it's not. <laughs> no, no, I just call the police every now and again and say I killed somebody and give no more details. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just no, put no, the no, phone down. I, I killed somebody. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. <laughs> do it like, hey, what you do, you just do it whenever you're on holiday, you ring 911. We did that once in school, we rang 911 from one of our phones, a French person beat up him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you just go to a random country on holiday, just ring the police of, like, that random country, just say, like, that you killed somebody, hang up, and then go home. It's the best thing. <laughs> Wait, Ludo, what does 911 go to? Ring it now, actually. <laughs> what? Uh, I don't think it goes to anyone in France, at least. Uh, well, you to be honest with you, if it's picking it? up to anyone, it could be, like, one of those, like, random little islands, the French own or some bullshit. Yeah, no, nine nine one one. Nine one doesn't work in France. I mean, we have uh, we have other numbers. T yeah, tell Wait. tell us the French police number or we'll prank call it. Uh, eighteen. <laughs> oh, the Suzuki. No, no, eighteen. 17. Eight, seventeen. Seventeen. Wait, you forgot the police phone number. That's no, a bad sign. <laughs> Ours no, is very no, memorable. It, 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 it's all the way at the end of the fucking phone, which was hilarious it, back in the day of eight, fucking dial yeah, phones. So eight, so eight, 18, 18 is, a, is the firefighters. 17 Hurry, is call the police. Da, 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 da. Ring. You won't need the firefighters with all my drip. Do you know what the best bit about that is when you think about Thank it? You. What? Isn't it great how the police's non-emergency number on one of those phones would actually be way easier to ring than the real emergency number? Because they have oh, one, yeah. one, one now. Yeah. I think, well, I think we, have, we have something like that. We have one, one, two. Like, Shall I ring one, one, one and say, Some fucker nick me bin. <laughs> yeah, do it. <laughs> do it now. <laughs> on stream. Incriminate yourself on stream right now. Wait Actually, I could do that. Time. I could say, you know, three months ago, someone put a dent in my car and I'm still not over it. I need yeah, you to pursue I'm this matter with immediate angry. ferocity. Did in your car? Somebody dented my car and I am still a human being. Like, yeah. can you sort this? <laughs> yeah, they did. Oh, there's a Porsche oh Boxer with an you... wing. And you never Ooh. found him? No. Wing? Yeah. Oh, yeah wing. Like... Response. I like wings. I don't like Porsche oh, Boxers. Oh, I've seen that before. I don't cool. know how or why, but I have actually seen There's that before. There's 78 pictures of it! <laughs> like, oh, that wing is garbage. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Only, only yeah, 70. Yeah, cars and bids, like, every car has, like, 200 photos for it, even if it only sells for, like, two grand. For reasons. Oh, there's well, a yeah, no, that's their system. Repeat. Alright, and it's the best system ever, because that's how it should be. Yeah, you, like, spend, like, fucking 200 quid on a photographer to take a picture of your fucking... Wait, do you have 1999 BMW 328i Coupe. No, you have to spend the money though, you would... No, you you take the pictures yourself, as far as I know, because there was someone talking about the actual selling. Well, no, because you can hire so, a photographer. Yeah, you can do, but you don't have to. What the fuck is this? The one's probably a lot of them do. You telling me the fucking the Doug DeMiro oh, things are just take, pictures yeah. he takes? The what, which ones? Autech, like that fucking, it's... those images of his stinger that he had when that was for sale. Are you telling me he took those pictures? Oh, probably, yeah. Those pictures look fucking good. Yeah, like the sunset. I mean, and... I mean, I mean, Doug is a oh, I don't know then. Some of the, like, 
nice looking ones, but just like the general like pictures of the wheeled seats. I think 20% of it's dealership selling cars, so... Mm. I what? mean... Probably. Yeah. yeah, the Autec annoys me because the NACA ducts are on the wrong way. Are they? Oh, how much did that fucking Corvette sell for? Which Corvette? That Corvette that was apparently like the prototype of the fucking Lotus. Oh, Corvette. yeah. Yeah. The one that was oh, in right. the scrapyard, yeah. Oh, there's a Radical on it. <laughs> oh, God. Radical? That's a name I haven't heard in a hot minute. I mean, you're playing a Forza game. They're like the only game they show up in. Yeah, oh, the was, Radical no, SR8RX, I think it is. I was looking at Radical oh. Engines the other day, actually, because... That's, that's a radical Are Radical engine. Engines just, like, Ford units? <laughs> no, there's this company in... I forget now. Hold on, I'll actually is find... It Judd? It's probably Judd. No, Pay it's not 200 Judd, quid for a make... photographer to take pictures of a 1991... A 1991 Citroen AX would not sell for £110 anymore. Citroen AX is a fit on the ground. Oh yeah, that Corvette, I've got it here. The ZR1 King of the Hill prototype. Yeah. Uh, do you want to take a guess how much it sold for? $80,000. Eight. 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 Um, Eight. 75000 Ah, oh, it's close. I was going to say, it was $8. Well, I've been tempted to bid on, you know, like when they were hilariously low, like that Ford Taurus that was at like $420. I was like, I might just stick like $500 on this and just give it to the seller and just say, sell it again, but I like your car. <laughs> <laughs> What have I found here? I just wanted to own a fucking Taurus SA. Unless you want to ship it to England, I ain't paying that fucking cost though. Ah, oh, Locust. That's kind of cool. I hate when Locusts yeah. burst into my house. Me too. Every time. But then again, I'm not an Egyptian pharaoh. I hate when Locusts eat my Bill Clinton. Oh, what is this? Oh wait, no, sorry, it's George Bush. I guess yeah, it's a um... Corvette. Oh, no. Oh, that's the electric. Yeah, we found that. Your Acer was. Oh, that fucking weird electric oh. car. Yeah. Oh, the clown shoe. Oh. What's that's the name? name? Okay. It was great. If you actually read through it, he talks about it quite a lot. It's really interesting. I do not know how to read. Sorry. Do you know what my favorite bit about oh. that was? What? When that sold on there, and when Doug was doing the auction breakdown, he just turned around and said, "Yeah, it might be a cool project to stick a gas engine in it." <laughs> no way, this is on you. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking shit looked on Fiero. Yeah, they sold it on. No way. How much did it sell for? Five grand. Jesus. And one dollar. Next, we need to get Tavarish to sell that fucking Civic he's got that looks like a Bugatti. <laughs> what? He got that? Yeah, he bought a 300 quid Civic that had a bodyguard on it to make it look like a Veyron SS. Fucking you know, the dog. classic swap. Yeah. <laughs> and age Every time I look at a Honda Civic and go, you know, that's just two two steps away from a Yeti Veyron. Oh, there's a Safari 911. That's kind of cool. It's very cool. How much is brown it? and brown? Brown. How much, is, how much is it going for? Oh, the 911? Yeah. Uh, well, I'll just fucking link it. I can't read again, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't taught him that at school yet. Yeah, no. Today we're, we're gonna school. learn about numbers. <laughs> Look. <laughs> oh yeah, is, is that how bad lockdown fucking schooling's got? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm, I'm oh, I'm back back until like mid-February, which is when my second set of mocks start. Cool, nice. you should start recording some YouTube though. Yeah, um... Issue. Well, I I oh, forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> cool, cool. <laughs> cool. There's my issue. I can't plan videos. Health, you can't yeah. plan videos. Did you not see what I posted earlier? Where it was like this fucking text document that I said work on this. It could be interesting. I haven't touched it for two and a half years. <laughs> That's what planning YouTube videos looks like. Also, my legal copy of. Uh, of Adobe Premiere doesn't work anymore since Oh, let's remind you I need Windows. you later. You what? Don't Maybe. If you're still yet. about later, I might need you. For what? Oh, no. I need to try and set up uh, EPSXE. It was having oh, issues. Oh, mine shit itself yesterday. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. I'll try and 
No, I could probably guess. Oh, she asked me to set it up. Okay, fine, you set it up. Can you not just send me your working one? Instead of having to, like, download BIOSes and shit, can you not just send me fucking wholesale an EPSXD? Yeah, mine's only got Hooters Road Trip Adventure on it, whatever it was called. What? I thought he was going to say Prepper the Rapper or something. That is very respectable. If I'm on a tradition. I just literally want Gran Turismo 2, because then I can do Hot Lap Classic and have modded cars. And redo the Hot entire series again just in to four K. Yeah, exactly. With eight polygon cars. Yeah. <laughs> no, four K cars, but like reduce the sound quality so fucking that fat boy <laughs> slim song just sounds like a pixel. It sounds like <laughs> Sounds like a pixel. <laughs> That's all the noise it made. <laughs> <laughs> that for like four and a half minutes, which is how long it takes. No, do you remember the fucking breakdown for it? That fucking bit where it's like, ee, nee, 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 nee. get that just over and over again. What the fuck is going what, on? What, the bit there? with like the, the guitar for it? Yeah. Like the out of tune ukulele sounding guitar. Yeah. Yeah, that, okay. Where it does the repeat over it. Have you ever heard the actual song? It's not even that bad. It doesn't sound anything like that, though. Like, I mean, they I'm remixed it, like, twice over. Don't let, <laughs> don't let me search Wait, swear words I mean, on the internet. What, Fat Boy Slim, Slim is fucking in heaven? That's literally what yeah. the entire song just goes like, the actual one, it's just like, Fat Boy Slim is fucking in heaven. Fat Boy Slim is fucking in heaven. Fat Boy Slim is fucking in fucking in. Who? Fat Boy Slim. No way. We have Bro. a Fat Boy Slim CD somewhere. I can't. They had like one song that was really popular, and it wasn't fucking in heaven, and I don't remember uh, what it was. Yeah, I mean, I think I know the one you mean. Could it be fucking in heaven? Oh, I can't say that word. Oh no, he said fucking. Quick, gets his pen. Uh -oh. That is a gateway word to the N word. That's what they teach me words in school because I could one day lead to saying words. You could one true. day become a member of the right of the political party, and we cannot have this happen. Um, How dare you want uh, justice for Hitler? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> That's not real, by the way. Hitler wasn't even right, he was more left than right, but we gloss over that for obvious reasons. Kind of was, yeah. yeah. Like, you know, what? From one I mean, major certainly policy. wrong with Well, something. socialism's left, so... I mean, yeah, but not, in one major yeah, policy so. that probably made him a little it, it, more right. It, 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 it was neither, neither right or left. He was just wrong. That I, don't know. I, I know, he made Anne Frank not cool, that's why Sonic had to save her. From the Nazis. What? I desperately want. <laughs> no. I've linked fucking that Sonic World War oh, 2 adventure. Oh, I just remember the title of the stream. Yeah. <laughs> I need. I need to read through that. <laughs> don't, don't, yeah, don't read it out loud because we've already read it yesterday. But <laughs> feel uh, free to gloss through it. I was only there for chapter one of uh, Sonic High School. Oh, again. you wasn't there? F oh my god, you should have been there for the rest of it. Oh, Sonic High School, no, like, I, I read left. ahead and Sonic High School goes weird. Yeah, it oh, does. Yeah, no. we, it didn't we like read the I remember what it is. It's like, I think chapter 22, like you just open it and it's like fucking... That was <laughs> What's the name like, of the angry? Pool. Shadow. It's like yeah, Shadow is edgy. currently halfway through piercing Amy's colon with his giant hedgehog cock or something. He's like, it's okay. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's written by a person who does not understand how sexual organs work. Let's put it that I way. I guarantee you that the about his ball problems is from the author's personal experience. What? He said about his ball problems in class and <laughs> yeah, everyone laughed. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's from his personal experience. No, no, spoiler alert, he was Sonic and that entire thing was just his suicide note for when Sonic runs <laughs> off the cliff. Spoilers? <laughs> I don't want Wait, to we... read my immortal. Oh my god, what oh, about you Sonic should. Harem? Isn't that like... I actually want to read my immortal at some point, just to find out how bad it is. Wait, which one's that one? Uh, that's like the really bad Harry Potter fanfiction. Oh, I thought that was like Elliot Rogers' oh, fucking thing. <laughs> no, I've, I've only heard little things about it. I've never seen anything part of it, but I want to. Same, I've, like, 
I know nothing about it, but it's already intrigued me. Again, I just want to read the Elliot Rogers Manifesto. Fuck his dad. <laughs> what do you think it is? <laughs> you know who Elliot Roger is, right? No, you don't. That fucking incel who killed like loads of people in Washington. Oh god. Because of really didn't Jack. love him. Shame. I think it's because his wheels weren't fried. He just needed to hit up uh, wet MTV for a pimps up ride, and he'd been well better. Well better. The best one was that fucking Alex Mazarian guy. That Canadian yeah, that guy who, like, chat. ran over 15 people in the interviewer because he had fucking Asperger's. He ended up telling this interview about Chad's and Stacey's and shit, and it was really weird. Do you hear that, YouTube chat? If you can't get any women to like you, MTV will sort you out in 2020. Do you know that's still going on? You what? West Coast Customs have a YouTube channel. Ryan is still there. Who's Ryan? The, like, lead guy who owned West Coast Customs. Because no, he, he fell yeah. out with West Coast Customs at one point because he had to open a shop in Germany, but I think he's gone back. I fucking hate you, <laughs> He had a, it was actually quite an interesting show. He basically did a thing where he like was working on movie cars, like West Coast Customs. Well, it wasn't West Coast Customs. It was like <laughs> the worst bit about it is the show was called oh, fucking hell. What was it? Pimp That's my car or something like that. <laughs> Pimp Dina Auto. <laughs> but they ended up doing the. Um, you know who Expendables 1, I think it is? Yeah. The truck no. that Sylvester Stallone drives, that's West Coast Customs actually built that for him. Okay, Mill, mm. newsflash, I don't know any movies. None of yeah, them. Because you're a good Peppa Pig OVA, you know that. Do you know okay, they replaced know the voice that. actor for Peppa Pig? Bastards. Um. She wow. was seven when she got the role <laughs> in like 2007, so they replaced her with another seven year old this year. Because they finally figured what? out that she'd grown up to be like 21 years old and didn't want to voice Peppa Pig anymore. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's all right, well. She actually kind of looks like a pig. No, actually, I can't say that. You just. Oh, God, LA Rush. Yeah, LA Rush is a fucking. That's a trip. We need to LP that at some point. Have you ever played LA Rush, Elsie? No. You should. I okay. want to play it at some point. I was going to buy it, like, years ago. It's, like, the most whitest game ever. <laughs> oh, I'd fit right in with it, then. And then you get that fucking guy from West Coast Customs, like, it's actually Ryan, when you pimp your car, and it's like, Yeah, man, we we dropped your 180SX to the floor, we added Nismo coil over springs. <laughs> it's going to be rocking. It's just like, <laughs> it's gonna I like be this tubular, one. brother. I love the customization of that game because there's none. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, <laughs> the car shows up in whatever colour it's in, and when you go pimp it to West Coast Customs, you don't have a choice over what happens, so you end up driving around in a Pontiac Solstice on like 23s. <laughs> I think they had big chromies like that. an S2000 as well. Nice. I love the Solstice, it's my favourite car I know everything about. I unironically like the Solstice, and I don't know why. Why do you like the Solstice? It's heavy. I yeah, drove I know. it in my racing, and it was okay. The Pontiac Solstice is a General Motors sports car built between the years of 2006 and 2010. It features the GM 2.4 litre Ecotec four-cylinder that produced 190 brake horsepower. Why do you have the Wikipedia? Talk I don't, that's literally what Wikipedia. I know about it. I genuinely am looking Wikipedia. at my screen. Say a random car and I can probably give you something. Honda Ridgeline. Ooh, Honda Ridgeline. <laughs> the Honda Ridgeline is a pickup truck manufactured by Honda for sale in North America. It's powered by a 3.5 litre V6 engine single overhead cam uh, Honda J unit, I believe it is. Okay. See? Nerd. I kind of missed the days when I was like that knowledgeable about cars, but now I've just kind of like forgotten it all. A lot like, of I just on don't... Wikipedia as a kid, I was a very interesting child. I... <laughs> See, that was yeah. me too, but I just like, for some reason though, I just don't care about individual cars. Eagle Weird. Talon I don't know too much on, obviously it's a rebadged Eclipse. Uh, I know it was targeted towards females, which was an Are interesting... Like Subaru, yeah, that was their marketing campaign, lesbians. they wanted to target females. 
Oh yeah, the Subaru, the Subaru advertising campaign is genuinely quite interesting though. How many consoles do you have? Um, one, two, oh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's not going to tell us what they are. There's another Xbox <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> no, why would I tell you what they are? Okay, we got, we're going to tell you what the amount of Xboxes you have. They call it the X-Dogs. X-Dogs? <laughs> I turn it on and it just hard. prints out Keemstar's address over and over again. <laughs> oh, sorry, Dream got hacked, didn't he? Dream got fucking dogs. Oh, um, no. No, yeah, you know that's a one, one in seven, a one in like seven trillion chance. Of okay. <laughs> no, have you seen his fan base though? They're so weird. They really yeah. are. They like was right on Twitter, like, bro, I want to like break into Dream's house and like smack Sniff him until he bleeds or something. Oh, but... um, well, I, uh... there's two parties. They doxed him by he posted a picture of his kitchen and someone literally went on a property site. Look through every single property and found his kitchen. Wait, wait, uh, wait. Uh, who would actually say that about him? Like, wanting to kill him? Weird and... stands on Twitter. That's why no, my get... location on Twitter is house. It gets even weirder though, because for some reason when I'm on Reddit, I get recommended the subreddit for his sister. Who oh yeah, his sister, his 14 year old sister that everyone's now found an image of and posts on Twitter about. It's strange. Oh, no. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, it could be worse. In fairness, <laughs> in fairness, we are now learning as to why you should never tr cheat in the Minecraft world. Yeah, I mean, I mean, <laughs> don't I mean, cheat I mean, on I mean, Minecraft speedruns if you don't want your fourteen-year-old sister to get doxxed. There's my I don't have a fourteen-year-old sister. There. I'm going to cheat on Minecraft speedruns. Yeah, but <laughs> no, yeah. you'll get one. Yeah, but if oh, you no. <laughs> I mean, at least there is one good thing. He hasn't mm. killed himself yet. Well, he might soon. He's got oh, 15 yeah, million yeah. subscribers, he ain't got to kill himself. One I of mean, his stands are going to break into his house and kill him, that's more likely. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, no, well... Uh, <laughs> um, I mean, GCSEs I mean, won't take... I mean, GCSEs, after all, so. he does have a 1 in 7.7 .7 billion chance of being murdered by someone, so... I wasn't I mean, listening to what you were saying and I said, oh, hell yeah, GCSEs aren't happening this year, I'm pogging. Xbox Series X looks cool. Xbox Series X would look cool if one would like oh, sell for happening. RPR price. Was wasn't there some guy that actually was into some fucking YouTube shit? That Who's you Tommy? Tommy? No, innit. Tommy in it. Jinx. Who? I hate you. Tommy in it. I don't know. Oh, I know hey, sister. Apple a legend and. Uh, um, Oh yeah, was, Apollo Legend is yeah, yeah it's a weird one. Yeah, yeah, and the worst part is that some guy watched actually made a video, you know, against his shit. If it's Dark it. Viper, I find yeah, him. He, he, he's, he's I like he's, his speedrun yeah. stuff, but him as personally, uh, that is a disturbed uh, dude. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, he's I been mean, doing way yeah. too many speedruns. <laughs> the problem, yeah, he's like mentally fucking broken, like, and you can tell. Like, yeah. Like, I mean, he does have a good thing to say sometimes, but then... Did you not see that, like, video of him, like, fucking freaking out at someone in Among Us? And, like, he did an no, entire video as to why he freaked out about someone in Among Us. I, I didn't see that. Actually, no, no, I like, think it was Fall Guys, because he wanted to get a squad together for Fall Guys, and a guy who was silver did join or something like that. You know, that game that everyone's playing in 2021. This was a while ago. Okay, also, cool. Fall Guys is still for incels. I mean... It yeah, okay. you have to I've be never... like severely autistic to enjoy Fall Guys. Really? Yeah. You you That's... you think that like it wasn't before for fucking insane. The only speedrunner I know is Hugo One. I agree. Breaking news: <laughs> All eight-year-olds who have ever played Fall Guys are now autistic. This is a breaking well, news. Well, of course. Study like again. Jesus Christ, most people. Uh, have you not heard how like everyone in the world must have a million and one issues with them now? No. Come on, bro. Get with the times. I think you're making that up. Yeah, I think... Well... I mean... Yeah. Did you... I'm sorry. That is the most pristine first corner I've ever seen in my life. What a fucking run that was. I mean... I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean are you saying that Thunder has problems since he plays Fall Guy? He is autistic. He's admitted it. 
<laughs> what's your <laughs> <laughs> That's not an issue with autistic people. It's an inst it's an issue with the game. Hold on, what? Damn it! The way you just say that. Nobody um, is. He's a mini. True. Yeah, I know. I'm not saying. That. Well, apparently you don't. Yeah, not unless you want to be one of those fucking people. what are those people on Twitter called? Incels. No, there's like a new <laughs> one where like they say it's like you have to be praised or something if you're against. I don't know. Twitter. Dance. The other thing I used Twitter for was, uh, well, Porn. most recently, posting a, t <laughs> a tweet of my uh, crumpets I made last Friday at 11:37 p.m. Shit, I need to check that out. I love a bit crumpet. Yeah, no, I'm they are just and more ways than burn. one. Ah, oh, it looks like. You, you, you know, we, the, be, the, the best thing with crumpets is like slightly burn them to the point where you get like, like the edge of it. You can like hold yeah. it. Yeah, man. Yeah, no, that didn't happen. Oh. I actually really like burning crumpets. I think burnt also, crumpets yeah, taste really like nice. Like, you need to get crumpets to the point where like they're sort of dark brown on top. Man, that's when crumpets are at their best and you just Look. fill them full of fucking butter. The crumpets are cursed because I haven't used our toaster in like six months, and it was at setting seven for some reason. Oh, wow. when, that's like, the best. Po that, no, I'm sorry. That's where all toasters should be permanently. What? Yeah, right. It burns at like five. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm sorry. People who have like toast that's like at one deserve to be shot in front of well, their families. Well, mine was at like three, and it. Yeah, you see, three's not enough for our toaster. I mean, yeah, all toasters are You don't want light but... brown, you want, like, dark brown. Okay, you racist. <laughs> oh, I love brown. Oh, well, it's the whites that deserve to be annihilated. I mean, why don't you... Although you do yourself? need to toast white bread. Brown bread can go suck a dick. I haven't had white bread in... Like Unless brown bread is now. in, like, a decent sandwich. But it has to be a decent what sandwich. Like, fuck, it can't be a mediocre bread? sandwich, it can't be an okay sandwich, like it has to be in a decent to good sandwich. Well, the, the contents what, what, of the what, sandwich what, what have to overcome the bread? the bread, you know? Yeah, like decent amount of bacon. Mm. Bacon? What's a yes, fucking sorry. bread? I can eat bacon again now, so... You don't know what brown bread is? No. Whole meal. It's like whole wheat. Oh. That's what you call it. Yeah, yeah it, we're, we're very. We call it by the color of the bread. Brown bread, white bread, <laughs> seeded bread. <laughs> it's the way we work. Chaser, what is potato bread? Oh, like potato cakes. My sister just sent me a DM on Discord saying I just downloaded Phasmophobia. Was this a bad idea? Why did your sister DM you on Discord? Do you not exist in the same house? Yeah, we do, but there's a lot of distance between <laughs> us. Fucking Discord, <laughs> though! Not even the phone, it's Discord. Why Why would she bother sending a text? Those are limited. Potato um, flour places portion of where you... What the fuck? Potato bread looks like... just... Ugh. <laughs> I'm getting shit. Is it like cheesecake where it hasn't really got cheese in it? Or I'll like just, potato in it? This is like the brownest of brown bread, I think. This brown bread can probably say the end word. So it's, it's Irish bread is basically what you're saying, Tracer. That's bread with potatoes, okay. Yeah, Irish bread. Bread made with flavor. Bread has flavor. Bread it's made with bread. flavor. <laughs> it's golden. It's bread with flavor in it. <laughs> That's a hot take. I think Mr. Beast looks like an Alfa Romeo Julia. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> Hold on. Chat. So you're saying he has like a pronounced nose and really small ears? Mr. Beast. <laughs> Mr. Bean, that was Uto. No, he looks like a Stelvio. <laughs> How the fuck was he spotted? You fucking can game ass bitch. bitch. Does look like a Stelvio. Post a picture of a Stelvio? Uh, Doesn't a Stelvio look like a bird? It looks like shit. Also, he has a neck beard, which and makes Stelvio's him instantly fine. less attractive. Stelvio, I find, relies a lot on spec. Like, Kimi Raikkonen's Stelvio looks good. But... 
I think it'd look better if it was a bit close to the ground and also not an SUV. So the Julia. Yeah, yeah, but if that was a bit close to the ground and not a big fat slinker. Um, so a so the Julia with a rail lock Coney off. Springs. Uh, and I'm thinking more in Alpha Four C. Here in Liverpool, where the wheels will be stolen. Hello. <laughs> yeah, but I'll get put on bricks. It's Daniel. It's Daniel. <laughs> Pill <laughs> pot. Plant pot. Oh, oh he's got pill pot. Oh, oh just... mini. He's oh, back. Okay, okay. Oh, my God. Sorry. I was... Right, I was going to get. Oh, I was going to drink and let him take the show. So. Yeah, take take it away. Yeah. Go. Hello and welcome to. Oh my God! I just realised this car's hideous. Well, Why well, does it have driving. vents on the? No. Oh. Why does it have vents on the rear quarter panel? Oh. Um, it has. Cat look is. like the rear window. Oh right. Sorry, yeah, the no, screen that's... so low. Why? Oh, it's cat is, yeah. yeah. What's that even no. cooling? Uh, it's cooling the uh, the car. Oh, me... Brakes? Oh. No. Hold on, let me find an actual good picture of it. Uh, the is the back it? of the car. It's a Grand Sport. Not the 4200 GT that has the worst rear lights on a car ever. Where's her ass going in America? I need um, to buy a new copy of Forza 4. There's one I've got as the bundle copy. That's oh, where Jesus. the fuel filler cap is. Yeah, I get, no I get the bundle in the steel book. Is it the Grand Sport you're looking at? Yes. Is it a 2006 no. Grand Sport? Yes. I must purchase. It's genuinely a. I'm actually looking, I'm trying to look at the car to see if there's a fill cap anywhere else. They're selling it for a tenner? Fuck off. Oh wait, hold on. On one side there's is no a fill cap, on the other side it's like an indent. Yeah, it's just an indent. There's it's no asymmetrical. Bend, though. No, but well, look yeah, on the other side. It's the oval setup. Yeah, look, like on I've one side helps it not. I hate that. That's the sc I used to like this car. <laughs> oh, okay, no, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, I quite like this era of Mazda. I think this is better looking than the Gran Turismo. And I'm not even I joking. Like the, I like the taillights of the car. The Maserati I Gran like Turismo is, like, too long. Okay. Favourite car, no idea. I genuinely don't know. His favourite car. car. My dream the... car in real life is a Camry Hybrid, so... Um... Go with God, that. Yeah, I forgot you're the most boring person on earth. It's great! 8.4 seconds, 60, 52 miles per gallon, leather, CD player, bang bang bosh. Yeah, uh, you're a loser, we know. And it's the most reliable thing on earth. God, you are elderly. <laughs> yeah, I know. My piss creaks. <laughs> <laughs> Not a fan. Favor is just. I don't know, Ferris looks like a person. I mean, what? Ferris, I don't think I've seen his face in. He did the Fail Race podcast, bro. How can you not have seen his face? He did. Uh, I, I, I didn't did watch he? that, but yeah. <laughs> that was, I, I saw the thumbnail and it looked very neck bird yeah. beardy. That's all I'll say. So I just. Yeah, like, that's what he oh, looks like. Oh, that's what he looks like. I. Don't know what he's. Apparently, this is Fail Race. I look like a Saab 95, like the late ones. I'm I just getting like images of Scott. On them. Getting images of Scott the was and Scott uh, the was. He got hacked on I Twitter, don't. didn't he? Did he? Yeah, which is like is uh, uh, the entirety of Twitter was outraged because they were like, "Why would you hack Scott the was? He's like the most wholesome creator ever." Yeah. <laughs> AKs in the podcast. Do you get to see AK's like six foot three, like he looks nothing like a Scottish person frame? I really want AK to try and slip subscribe to Boost the Metal in one of those podcasts. Oh my god! That is. Alright, I'll DM him later. Someone oh. remind me of that. We're, we're gonna get that in. What's Should I DM, I wasn't listening. I DM him now? Yeah, DM him now and say this is a serious request. I'll give him, I will give him the five if he gets it in. What's happening? We're trying to get invisible AK to say fucking subscribe to Boost and Ethanol on the Fail Race podcast. <laughs> <laughs> 
I've got two quid on my card. I can pick <laughs> that up. We'll actually pay him. Yeah. This is a bribe, please. We can business expensive. Oh my god. I got an image for Jacksepticeye when I searched up Fail Ray's face reveal. <laughs> I don't think he did a face reveal, he just bought the RX-8 and was like, here's my face. Oh, he has an RX-8 now? A, if you scroll up in response, Did you'll you see a picture on? of him with his girlfriend. He has a girlfriend? He has another one. Oh, two girlfriends? The first one left him. Now oh. he's got a new one who's he's obsessed good. with him and doesn't stop tweeting at him. I was gonna say, is what Harry's is a what? side hoe? <laughs> 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 yes. AK's agreed to it. Oh my no god. No way. I've just scrolled up in responses, so thanks for your great nope. <laughs> Yo, <Yeah>, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Uh, on Hot Virgin, one of the guys on there is called Nob. I'm just gonna type, yeah, there you go. Uh, AK won't be oh, on the next one. He won't be on the next one. No, but he says, God knows when I'll be on again, but I'll try. What? Cool. I can't believe they're doing two of them. <laughs> oh. well, it's called Fair Race Podcast number one. <laughs> it's like when we did the fucking ETCC podcast, though, isn't it? It's like there's never going to be another one. <laughs> yeah, there was never planned to be another ETCC, so... <laughs> no, there was, at that point. It went from being next year to never a fucking game to... Okay, we'll do it one more time. <laughs> if God we, is okay we might do it. it once more, we'll see how schedules line up this year. Yeah, next time it's like, if God is okay with it, I might. And then I think next year though, I'm like, literally just gonna like, run the same cars as last year, and we'll just add like, four or five more. <laughs> We're doing that again? Maybe. Uh... We're gonna get another timeless classic, such as Ludo as a horse cunt. I literally the only reason I'd want to do it again is because 2018 Civic. I'm not right. in again. Which would be the most OP car ever. I, g I gave up on racing know. nowadays. I gave oh. up on racing. Yes. I gave up on well, racing, but I'm still. Then here. we won't get a Ludo redemption arc. Yeah. Yeah, man, you can have the same redemption arc I had in BTCO, where I went from being the shittiest driver to the second shittiest driver. I, no, I was the best do. driver in ETCC Season 2 for like two races. I and think you were still like again. up there with the championship winners. Was I? Oh, I really don't I'd have care. to have a look. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for this episode. Thank you all very much for watching. Next time, we're going to be finishing off the Class B World Championship. So, join us for that. Until then, farewell. Yeah.